Oh my god, look at this hair shot. Sorry. Oh my god, my hair's looking so long right now. I really don't know where this like growth spurt came from, but I remember when I had like hair that was like this long. Especially after I went from being blonde to brunette. Oh my god, it ruined my hair. Hello guys, good morning. How is everyone doing? I thought I would vlog today. Um, obviously haven't done that in a while. And I don't know. I don't know whether I'm going to start getting like camera shy again. But we're going to work through it. We're going to work past it. Um, I'm going to vlog today because I'm going to take myself out on a date. There's a new trainer shop in manchester that sells if you guys know me you know i have a trainer obsession i mean i'm gonna show you a little sneak in fact i'll do it later i'm gonna show you a sneak peek of my wardrobe but i basically got a room dedicated for my trainers <laughs> so yeah like that is me and love me or hate me whatever so i'm gonna take myself out on a date on a shopping date there's actually a perfume i want to buy as well i feel like i'm such an introvert at the minute i'm just loving spending time with myself and getting to know myself and honestly just love being in my own company so i'm gonna show you what i get up to as a loner i'll take you on i'll take you on a little date um i've got a little bit of work to do as well i'm also gonna start showing you parts of my wardrobe which I'm really excited about but I'm gonna do I've decided that I'm gonna do a new flat tour because my apartment looks so different to how it used to look I've got a new sofa I've got new coffee tables I've got my spare rooms completely different obviously so um I don't want to show you too much because obviously I'll do that in a separate video but um yeah I can show you like little parts of it little like snippets you know this morning I'm gonna go to the gym because haven't been for a while i think i've been once since they've been open <laughs> and i'm actually starting modeling again soon to be honest i don't really like doing that much at the gym i thought i would try the is it three no wait what is it six twelve thirty three twelve it's something like that um i thought i would try that workout because i hate doing cardio like i oh my god doing cardio actually makes me want to cry um so i thought i would try that because it looks kind of easy i mean it doesn't look easy i mean i've heard people talk about it and say oh yeah it's easy for the first like three minutes and then it gets really hard um but i think it's like 30 minutes long i know that i'm just gonna walk in the gym do that and then i can leave and i'll feel better so i'm gonna go do that this morning i'll show you what i do in the morning in terms of journaling and everything like that because honestly that is the one thing that really has just changed my whole mindset and just help me deal with so much trauma from the past honestly journaling has just helped me get to know myself so much because i put a pen to paper and then all of a sudden like 20 years of shit <laughs> just came out so i swear if you've not journaled before then you need to start and if you're if you don't know how to start then that's what i'm here for yeah i'm gonna head to the gym now and i will catch up with you when i'm back because i can't look at this puffy face anymore also this is so cute i look like shrek <laughs> why is it gone green i mean this definitely needs to be showered off after the gym obviously but i've tried a new tan this is the barley body one hour express tan i've also got it in my bed which is so cute so i need to change these sheets um but yeah i'm kind of scared because it looks green but we will see also i promise that i will be getting up i just have one more thing to say i'm wearing my baby girl's edit now i should not wear this to bed but when i tell you it's the comfiest thing in the whole world i was so cold last night but this is like the thickest sweater and it's so comfortable it's really oversized i got like i think i got three sizes up i think this is like a 12 um so comfortable like i practically live in this i love this color as well i mean green obviously i got my nails done these are so cute um yeah green is oh my god that actually goes so well green is my favorite color so the entire edit or like the majority of the edit was green so you already know that i loved it but i think a lot of the stuff is sold out i'm not sure whether they're gonna restock but if you've not looked at it then 
I feel bad for you like I really do I know this girl worked so hard on this edit and I am so proud she is just one of the most amazing people I've ever met like she is an angel sent from above Thank you, Lord, for sending Hannah into my life. Okay, this is the gym set for the day. This one's so cute. This one's from a brand called We Ari. I'm gonna leave it in the description box. This tan is so nice, by the way. Um, I need to obviously wash it off, but I feel like, mmm. But this is the question that I wanted to ask. Any of my endometriitis sufferers, like, what do you do about this? Because my belly, Okay, it doesn't look as bad on camera, but I've had, I mean, it doesn't look that bad on camera, but I'm having a little bit of a flare up this morning and my stomach feels rock hard. It kind of feels like I've just had like a huge meal, even though I'm hungry. It feels like I've had a huge meal and it's just kind of sat here. Just me and my stomach off to the gym. Okay, it's a lot later on. I really wanted to film in the gym, but it was so busy and I feel like the gym for me is already such an intimidating place because I genuinely don't know what I'm doing. I feel like if I'm with a PT or if I'm with a friend, then it's fine, like I don't mind, but it's almost like when you fall in public, it's way worse if you're on your own because you can't laugh with anyone. So if I am squatting something and then like drop away or like drop to the floor, then I've got no one to laugh with and then there's these gym heads just looking at me like you should not be here I know you shouldn't think like that and I'm trying to get out of that mentality but the gym for me is just such a scary place I'm trying to get out of that mentality because I really do want to start going but um yeah that's the reason I didn't take the camera in there but I did the workout and it was actually pretty easy for like, I would say I did 10 minutes and I was like, right, okay, this is starting to get difficult. Yeah, the first 10 minutes was like quite easy and then the last 20 was quite difficult. But I was just like watching TikToks and watching YouTube and whatever. So it did kind of fly by quite quickly and I feel so much better now. I did want to do like a little get ready with me, but I thought on Sunday, we're actually going out for drinks for bank holiday. So I'm actually not drinking at the minute. I've decided that I'm just gonna take a month off just because I don't feel like I need to I don't feel like I need to drink I'm already confident I'm already loud like drinking for me just gives me a headache the next day I'm actually so happy being sober so I'm just gonna trial it for a month and then I'm gonna have like a big summer blowout after a month and just go all out and see if I do like drinking and then if I've actually enjoyed the month before then you know what I'm trying to say but um yeah we're going out on Sunday and I thought I would do like an updated makeup routine like a little get ready with me so I'm going to save that for that so my usual like morning routine would be come back from the gym or like do a home workout because I don't actually go to the gym um I would shower I would make breakfast sit down and journal let me tell you I'm not giving anyone the time of day or anyone my time until I've journaled I am not leaving this flat until I've journaled it's become such an important part in my life and a, and a part that I don't what's the word I don't I'm not flexible on it like I am journaling and that's that <laughs> So even if I'm running late, I'm just going to like jot something down really quickly just because it's done wonders for my mental health and wonders for my life and I've really got to know myself. I got a message from my manager saying that I needed to do this job for Inglot. So I did my makeup using the Inglot in collaboration with Mora Collection. It's so gorgeous. Like... I'm obsessed. It's quite natural, but I like that. But yeah, I completely forgot about this job. My brain just like likes to procrastinate and I'm trying to get out of that mentality, but here we are. So I had to send that over. Um, so now I'm starving. I feel like I've got this obsession with tuna at the minute. <laughs> so gross it's literally canned fish but it's so good oh yeah i did my hair um i don't know how i feel about this so i actually saw a tiktok last night that was like can we bring back the fluffy 90s hair so i thought i would try it this morning and i'm just not very girly when it comes to my dress sense or the way i do my hair she's having like a moment i'm trying to get used to it but i just i don't know whether i can yet Guys, I don't know what was that. <laughs> okay, I'm kind of rushing to head out now. So I've made something really quickly. I've just got some Weetabix with oat milk and some fruit. And I'm just gonna do my journal. So 
um, yeah, I'm probably gonna spend like 10 minutes on this. You don't have to spend a long amount of time. Okay, OOTD. I did put the hair up because it just wasn't me. I couldn't get on board with it. So I put it in a pony and then just left this little strand out and I actually really like it. So I'm really glad that I changed it. I think this is definitely more a Madison Sarah hairdo. Anyway, my outfit, the hoodie is from Sundarbe. Is that how you say it? I want to say it's Sundarbe, but we could be wrong. My bag is Bottega. It's new. I'm obsessed with her. She was expensive, but we stand. We love. Um, the pants are from PLT, and if you're going to get them, go a size down. These are actually a size 4, um, and they fit perfectly, but I got a size and they were just huge like they looked like I was about to set sail if you're gonna get them definitely get them a size down um and then I have my Jordans on hope you like this fit because I low-key really like it okay the weirdest thing happened I think I didn't lock my car last night which I never usually do I always double check it and I always make sure that I hear the beep before I walk away but I've just got in my car and like this was up and the back one was up like where the cup holder is I think someone tried to rob me I mean the only thing I have in my car is an unpaid parking ticket so if you want to take that off my hands then I would be grateful but that's so weird I hate I hate it it's more like it's not even about them taking anything because like what is there to take anyway but it's more about like the intrusion do you know what i mean like don't intrude my privacy that's my privacy you know um but anyway i'm not going to stress about that because what's done is done and i just need to remember to lock my car but yeah i'm just about to head off to in fact they might have took my camera tripod because i swear i left it in here and i was going to film like a little um come drive with me section but it's not in here so maybe they took that you teefs I'll be waiting for the YouTube channel <laughs> to launch. I've not done a little come drive for a while. I will film one soon. If you like come drive with me as a like the OG on my channel. I used to love filming them. A big mistake that I made today was driving into town because I forget that Manchester really is trying to do up London traffic. This is not okay. This guy next to me as well that keeps staring like hello sir i'm gonna go to the trainer shop first because i've actually parked in northern quarter where it where where it is oh my god i can't speak it's when i'm suddenly really camera shy i feel like i never usually used to care when people used to watch me vlog but now all of a sudden i'm very shy i'm really trying to fight the urge not to be camera shy but i've ended up coming to Southbridge's first just because the queue for that trainer place was ridiculous so he said if i go back in 10 minutes or like 20 minutes he'll let me in <laughs> so i've just come for a little shop in selfridges there is actually let me go downstairs there is actually a perfume that i want so i'm gonna go downstairs to the beauty hall and get that and yeah i'm really trying not to be camera shy but <sighs> You got this mud. So me and Hannah actually came shopping not that long ago and I got a sample of this. I tried it on and my boyfriend was like, oh my God, what is that? So obviously I want to smell good for my man and I'm going to buy a bottle. I think I'm going to get him one as well just because it is unisex. But this brand, it's called Le Labo, I think it's called. It's so gorgeous. Okay, so they didn't have that in stock. So I need to buy something else just to get that little bit of serotonin. <laughs> I might even go back and ask for another sample because honestly the way my man reacted to that perfume I need him to react like that every time he sees me or smells me. I was actually so ready to spend money today and um, Zara was shit. Selfridges didn't have anything that I wanted. So now I'm gonna go snack shopping. Oh, I actually was trying to be healthy. I went over to Joe and the Juice and they closed. They closed on me, so I came to Barbarito. I did actually want a Barbarito, but I was thinking, try and be healthy. You went to the gym this morning, get a Joe and the Juice, but fate and God wanted otherwise. So I got some tortilla chips, some guac, and a burrito, and I'm actually so excited for this. I low-key am glad Joe and the Juice closed. So I'm gonna eat this. I'll show you what I got inside, because it looks so yummy. This guy that was behind me is really trying to like get close, and I'm confused. 
Like he's literally pulling the table over. I look so weird just sat here on my own, but what can you do? You know what's even worse? Because like I feel like I'd conquered eating by myself in restaurants and stuff. But eating by yourself outside when it's really busy outside is another level. So I got grilled chicken, brown rice, chipotle, the hot salsa and mushrooms, onions and peppers. So she's fully loaded. Mmm. She's good. She kind of needs more sauce though. I really like condiments, like if it's not drenched in hot sauce or like drenched in mayo, then I don't want it. Guys, this is your sign to go and get a burrito. This shit is so good. Today turned out to be a whole flop. Well, it didn't turn out to be a whole flop because that burrito was everything, but my phone died and did I bring my credit card out because I always use contactless now I always use contactless I could not tell you where my card is because everywhere is contactless now but I didn't bring my card out so I couldn't go to the trainer shop so I might make this a two-day vlog and vlog tomorrow oh my god why am I out of breath um I've also just seen someone that I know and I didn't recognize him until he drove past, so not that you watch my videos, but Kareem, I love you, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I think I gave him a dirty, because like, he had tinted windows and I could see this hand, but I didn't know who it was, and then when he drove past, I was like, oh my god, it was Kareem. So anyway, I'm going to drive home now. I'm so full from that burrito. I've also learned that there's no nice way to eat a burrito. I've had bar burrito recently with my boyfriend, but we ordered the burrito bowls because it was just, I was gonna say it was just for lunch, but what was that? That was lunch. I'll probably just have like a lighter dinner though. Like I've got soup in, I might have soup in a sandwich or something. I don't know how I'm thinking about my next meal already, but um, yeah, I'm gonna drive home and I actually am empty handed. That was the most pointless trip of my life but sometimes it really do be like that so i'm so upset that i didn't put my hair in a bun to start off with because i kind of low-key prefer it like this but i look disheveled i look like i've been through it today <laughs> but i think i'm gonna go and take a nap because i'm suddenly very tired and then i'm gonna figure out what i'm doing with the rest of the night and decide whether i'm gonna vlog tomorrow because i feel like i've not really done that much hello again i've just woke up from a nap and had a tangerine and some water. I feel kind of nauseous again. I'm just watching Lauren G Geraldo. Is that how you say it? I love her videos. I don't really watch YouTube anymore. Um, I usually just watch Hannah and Rach or Lauren, but apart from that, I don't really watch anyone anymore. So I feel like I want to start again because I need to keep updated on like YouTube trends and stuff now I'm back. Yeah, I'll probably just have like a little bit of a self care evening tonight to be honest. It's actually been so nice because usually I see people during the day, whether it's like my parents or my friends or my boyfriend or whatever, but this day has been completely for myself and I've really enjoyed it. I actually really enjoy my own company now which is so lovely to say because I definitely didn't for a long time um but yeah anyway I'm gonna stop rambling I'm gonna chill for a little bit and I'll catch up with you later I am seeing hot girl summer everywhere and I'm seeing people going to the gym <laughs> people dieting okay and this is what we're gonna live by Thank you. Thank you. I will be the friend that brings the snacks. I mean, Hot Girl Summer was obviously like in my plans and then I got a man. I'm planning on doing Hot Girl Summer with my man though. I mean, we go to Ibiza for two weeks and we're going on the jet again. I'm so excited. All I'm trying to say really is please don't feel the pressure to get this like Hot Girl Summer body because you are beautiful the way you are. And that's me. Done for the day. <laughs>
<laughs> That's my motivational speech for the day. Okay, I showered, I put my pajamas on. I feel like the one thing I'm missing in my life is, you know the really cozy pajamas? So my boyfriend actually, sorry, I always talk about my boyfriend. Like my boyfriend this, my boyfriend that, I'm happy, okay? <laughs> my boyfriend actually made me these ones because I was banging on at him for so long that I wanted us to get matching pajamas. And he was just looking at me like, Madge, you're crazy. And then one day turned up and he actually made me some with his brand logo on them. But yeah, he just turned up one day with matching pajamas that he made and I nearly cried. So, but yeah, I really love these ones, but these are like the only pajamas that I own. So I really wanna go to Primark and just get some like Disney pajamas. You know, like the t-shirt ones where like, they've got like pattern bottoms and they're so ugly and you would want no one to see you in them. I need some. I need them. What time am I eating dinner today? Because my eating habit times are not okay. It's, what time is it? Half 10 and I'm making dinner, so great. Although one thing that diet culture taught me that was so wrong was that it mattered what time you ate. I remember my mom always told me that I shouldn't eat past like eight o'clock because of my metabolism or something, which is not true. The queen of the condiment, this whole section at the top of my um, fridge is just for condiments. I have hot sauces, every kind of mayo you could think of, ketchup, sweet chili, every hot sauce you could think of, salad cream, brown sauce. I have everything up here. This one's really good, actually. This brown, this this barbecue sauce is the best, but this one's also really good. I got this from a Chinese supermarket. It's a mango dipping sauce, and yeah, I'm nearly out of it, so I need another one, but it's really good with like sushi and any kind of like Asian food. Um, and then this one, oh my God, this one is the best. This one's probably my favorite in here. It's the Trough Hot Sauce. This was 18 pounds, 18 pounds from Selfridges. And that's why I use it really sparingly. So I only use this on special occasions, but it's so good. If you want to, if you like hot sauce and you like truffle, then this whole combination is crazy. I'm so upset. I started making my tuna mayo and I've just realized I've not got any sweet corn in. Sweet corn is the most elite food there is. I won't hear otherwise. It's so good, especially in tuna mayo. So I'm really upset that I don't have any. I'm just gonna have to have it without, but that really is the best part. Although I do have these like frozen bags of vegetables and I'm really thinking, do I just pick the sweet corn out? <laughs> oh my God, look at this candlelit dinner. <laughs> So I've got my tuna, sweet potato, and some lettuce. I know this is such a basic white girl dinner, but I swear when you're craving something and you satisfy that craving, there's nothing better. So I made my tuna with mayonnaise, mustard, just to get rid of that like fishy taste. Um, vinegar, which if you don't put vinegar in your tuna, then I promise you're missing out. I think I'm just like a vinegar hoe. I put pepper in there, I put some salt in there. I also put some of this Tabasco hot sauce in there and I'll probably put some more on the top as well. Um, I also just diced an onion and then also diced a big tomato as well because like I said, I don't have sweet corn and I feel like the tuna was just a little bit boring without something else in there. And I'm also just gonna have some salad cream with it. So yeah, I'm gonna read my book while I eat. I'm trying not to watch as much TV. This book is so good by the way. If you're, I mean, I'm gonna talk a lot more about it. I'm not gonna talk about it now because I do wanna talk about it in a video, but this book is life changing. Hello guys, it's now the next day. Um, I forgot to end the vlog last night as always. I kind of ate and then just passed out again. So um, I was gonna film today, but I've just edited yesterday's vlog and it's like 25 minutes long. So I feel like I'm gonna relax on that. I'll probably vlog over the weekend anyway, just because I do need to go to Ikea and I'm gonna finish off my walking wardrobe. Sorry, the sun is blaring today. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed my first vlog back. Um, definitely more to come. I am so excited to start vlogging again. Hope you all enjoyed this video. I love you all so much. I am literally being blinded right now by the sun. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video.